Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the What A Deck Profile for the Raid Raptor Swarm Deck. Just gonna go through uh, everything real quick and then I'll tell you how it works. So we got three Tribute Lanius, um, three Blackwing Zephyros the Elite, three Raid Raptor Vanishing Lanius, three Mimicry Lanius, three Necro Vulture, three Fuzzy Lanius, two Singing Lanius, three of the Rank Up Magic Raid Force, three Twin Twisters, three Swallow Nest, Two Raid Raptor Nest, three Raptors Ultimate Mace, three Icarus Attack, two Jar of Avarice, and two Solemn Notice. And for the extra deck, we're playing one uh, Revolution Falcon, one Wind Up Arsenal Zen Mayo, one Tyrus Keeper of Genesis, one Volcasaurus, two Blaze Falcon, uh, Dark Rebellion Ixie Dragon, Silent Honor Arc, Ice Beast Zerophane, Two Castell, Skyblaster Musketeer, uh, three Force Strix, and one Rise Falcon. And then in the side deck, most of this is just other options uh, that you could use while building this. The only things I would really consider for the actual side deck is uh, some of these other Ixie monsters, um, particularly Ragna Zero against certain decks can be really good. If you need to stall, you can make Master Key Beetle because you're all dark monsters. Um, if you want more draw power or lure of darkness, if you're going against a really fast deck. And then, Raid Raptor Readiness is going to stop your Raid Raptors from being destroyed by battle. If you're playing a battle heavy deck, um, you could swap this, like if you're playing a more beatdown oriented deck, you could swap these out for your Twin Twisters if they don't have as much spell support, or if they don't special summon, you get rid of your Solemn Notices. Um, likewise, Breakthrough Skill, um, also good effect negation. I mean, Solemn Notice uh, negates and destroys, so it's a little bit better. But if Notice gets hit, or uh, you don't have the money for Notice, or um, if you just want a little more that more things that you can dis uh, discard with Twin Twister, then you go for that. And then uh, Raptor's Gust. If they're playing a really spell-heavy heavy deck, uh, with a lot of rituals and lots of fusions and stuff like that, maybe swap those out for the Solemn Notice, because uh, since these can't stop uh, built-in special summons, if you're using if they're using spell cards to special summon, you probably want this. Uh, this is probably better. Well, no, not against pendulums. Never mind. So anyway, the the way this deck works is just gaining as much advantage as possible. You're just uh, always having cards. You're making cards. Um, you're drawing just just everything. And then your two main cards are Icarus Attack and Twin Twister, both of which are going to blow up two cards on your opponent's side of the field. And then uh. Both of them cost you a card. This you have to tribute a winged beast. This you have to discard a card. Um, but Fuzzy Lanius, if he is sent to the graveyard by any means, you can add another copy of him from your deck to your hand. And if it's during your turn, Mimicry Lanius, if he's sent to the graveyard, you can banish him from the graveyard to add any Raid Raptor card. Any of the monsters or uh, uh, Raptor's Nest. Add that to your hand. So you're getting an instant plus one off of uh, both of these. And then in addition to it, you also work off a lot of your uh, extra deck monsters. Uh, Four Strix is going to let you search just by making him. And then you rank up into Blaze Falcon. And he's going to destroy all special summoned monsters on the field, so you can just wipe your opponent's board clean. Uh, likewise, if you can rank up into Revolution Falcon, he can attack all of your opponent's special summoned monsters and make their attack and defense zero when he does so. So he can pretty much just, like, pretty much win the game on his own if your opponent has a full board and doesn't have anything to stop your attack or effect. Um, it's just a matter of getting to this point. Um, you could make a more Raid Raptor focus, or not more Raid Raptor, you could make a more rank up focus deck that just focused on making this, it would probably work, or some of the, the higher ranked up ones, but for me it was more about uh, just keeping card advantage and destroying their stuff, just keeping more, more cards on the field than they had. Um, so, in order to do those, we've got Tribute Lanius. When he's summoned, you can send a, uh, or during the turn that he's summoned, you can send a Raid Raptor from your deck to the graveyard. Or, yeah, from your deck to the graveyard. Most of the time you want to send Mimicry, because, as I said, when he's sent to the graveyard, you can banish him to add anything. So, it's pretty common. Just summon him, send this, banish, add something. Uh, Zephros the Elite, he's just discard fodder. He's also a black, uh, or not black, a dark winged beast. So he works with, with all of the other stuff. He works with Icarus Attack. You can discard him for Twin Twister. And because you almost always have your nest, you can uh, return this to the hand to summon him, and then just play it back on the field. 
Uh, Vanishing Lanius, one of your key cards uh, during the main phase. Uh, you can special summon a, another Raid Raptor from your hand. So you use him plus any of these level 4s to make your 4 Strix and then you're adding cards. Uh, Mimicry Lanius, I already explained that he can be sent to the graveyard. That's mostly what I use him for. You can also make all Raid Raptor monsters you control level 5 or increase their level by 1, which most of the time makes them 5. And if you can get 3 of them, you can summon this without rank up. So he's, he's pretty useful in that regard. Uh, Necro Vulture is you can tribute another Raid Raptor monster to get your rank up back from the grave. Once you do get your rank up, he's pretty good for like continuing the cycle. You can summon him with uh, Vanishing, then tribute it, get your rank up back, and just keep ranking up. Um, Fuzzy Lanius, if you control a Raid Raptor, you can special summon him from your hand, uh, but you can only summon Raid Raptors that turn. Very careful about that. With Vanishing, you can use him to get another Raid Raptor and make, like, Castell or uh, Ice Beast Xerophane. But uh, with him, you can only pretty much make Four Strix or uh, Rise Falcon. Rise Falcon, uh, he's not the best. He can, he can get over anything because he can gain attack e equal to a special summoned monsters plus 100. Um, but otherwise, he has no defense. He has no real force clearing. That's why I only play one of them. He's uh, good occasionally. Um... And then we've got Singing Lanius. You can summon him if you control an Ixie monster. Sometimes if you've got, like, two of these, or uh, if you, like, summon him into him, into Fuzzy Lanius, and then you just make a four Strix, then you can summon Singing Lanius and use uh, him with something else to make another one. Um, there's a couple occasions when he's useful. I only run two. You can search him by himself. He's not all that useful. Um... Raid Force, I chose this, there's a lot of Raid Raptor rank up ones, but I chose this one because you can just use it on your turn. Uh, the other ones either rely on your opponent uh, destroying your monster by battle or having a monster in the graveyard, or uh, they have a high cost. There's one that's like, it costs uh, half your life points, I believe. Yeah. And then there's also, probably the best one is Skip Force, which lets you summon a Raid Raptor that's two ranks higher. At the moment, this is in beta on here, which means I can't test and ranked with it. So this is why I didn't use it, but I would highly recommend this, especially it's required if you want to play Satellite Cannon or uh, Ultimate Falcon. But this is probably one of the better ones. Um, these other ones I don't really recommend as much. This one, if you, if you think it's worth paying half your life points, uh, I normally don't think it's worth it. But, yeah. Um, so that's why I use that raid... raid uh, Ugh. So that's why I use that rank up. Uh, Twin Twister, I already explained, it's just it's anti-pendulum, it gets rid of spell traps. Just a good plus one with, with uh, these two. Uh, Swallow's Nest is just good deck thinning. Let you tribute one of your wing beasts to get another wing beast of the same level. They're all fours. And of course, if you send Lanius or send him, you can search in addition to getting those. Uh, you could still use his effect to special summon, even if he's summoned from the deck with Swallow's Nest. You can use his effect. Um, you can get summon out Zephyros and get him in the grave with Swallow's Nest. And, of course, if you really want to, you could just set it and use it to help dodge effects that target and stuff like that. Um, Raptor's Nest, if you control two Raid Raptors, add a Raid Raptor from your deck or your graveyard. Because you go through your deck so fast, I mostly use this to add stuff from my graveyard back to the deck and add some of these back to the extra deck. You probably can get away with playing two Four Strix if you want to, um, just because you can use this. Uh, I only play two of them because you can search it with Mimicry. So if you get either Mimicry or Tribute Lanius, you're getting this. So I, I felt you only need two, and it's useless if you get more than one because you can only use the effect of it once per turn. Uh, Ultimate Mace, kind of iffy, but I found I needed it a lot. A lot of these Raid Raptors have low attack, either just 1,000 or 100 or 2,000. It's really not that much. Giving them another 1,000 really helps. Uh, especially with Tribute Lanius, he has 1,800, so you can make him into a beat stick with 2,800, get over most things. Uh, it has the additional effect that if you equip it to something and they get attacked, you can add a rank up magic. So sometimes if I have this, I'll just make four Strix and equip him with it, even though it won't increase his defense. Um, just so when they destroy him, I get rank up magic and I can do stuff next turn. Uh, Icarus Attack, I already explained. Jar of Avarice, you need this just because you go through your deck so fast. You want to shuffle five cards into the deck, draw a card, it helps you reset your extra deck, 
It helps you reset Fuzzy Lanius because he's really the best like searcher when he's sent to the graveyard by any means. So putting him, putting two of them back in the deck helps you restart the cycle. Um, and then Solemn Notice just to stop monster effects and, and pendulums and stuff like that. Um, this you could search out with anything or switch out with just about anything. Twin Twister you could switch out with stuff. Uh, Raptor's Ultimate Mace you don't really need if your opponent's playing a lot of special summon stuff because your Blaze Falcon's going to take care of it. But if they're doing like normal summon stuff, I'd recommend this should at least be in the side deck because this can be really useful. Um, the other extra deck cards are just other options. It's just rank 4 stuff. The only reason we play 2 Castell is because he's a winged beast, so he's good for Icarus attack. You can use his effect to send something back and then set this and get rid of him if they summon something big. So, other side deck cards real quick. Uh, Sharp Lanius, I didn't really find all that effective. He can move something into defense position. You can uh, special summon one from your graveyard if you attack this turn. But at 1700, he's not all that great unless you equip him with Ultimate Mace. And that kind of becomes a different deck. Uh, Battlestorm, if you have three or more winged beasts, you can destroy one spell trap. A little slow. Most of the time you, knew, you use your normal summon on Vanishing Lanius. So I couldn't really get him out, but if your player... If your opponent's playing something with really heavy spell traps, this might be worth it to you. Um, Summoner Monk works pretty good because you got a lot of spells. If you got, if you want to play three Nest, he's pretty good. He can help you get rid of your uh, ultimate mace, and he can go into anything. Uh, he's dark too, so if you want to make like Key Beetle or something, he still works with that. Um, Skull Eagle, pretty good card, but he's level three. He's the only one that's level three, so I don't really, I don't really get his place in here. Um, it was just one of like, he's like the odd man out. I just put him here to be like, why they make the one level three? That's weird. Um, Ice Princess Zerat, two level five wing beast. You can make him. Um, and he can make something's attack zero, so there's a chance you can get over to 2500 for the win. Might be useful, but I didn't particularly like him. Um, same with Allure. Probably, I'd recommend putting Allure in here. It's worth it to banish one of your cards to get that extra draw. Um, rank up extra force, or astral force, sorry. Um, this is another rank up that works with these, because most of the other generic rank ups, you have to use, uh, whatchamacallit, you have to use a number monster, or C Ixy monster, or something like that. This one you can actually use to make, a uh, Revolution Falcon, and the other bigger ones, and it's, uh, two ranks higher. So if you don't want to use, or if you can't get a hold of, uh, rank up magic, uh, skip force yet, this is a good alternative. Although you can't special summon except by using this that turn. So it's kind of meh. Um, and then I think everything else I talked about. So yeah, so there's your, your water deck profile for the Raid Raptor Swarm. Uh, if you want to see it in action, you can check in the description. I have a uh, the water deck where I actually play 10 duels against people. It went uh, alright. So you can check that out. Next week I'll be back with another more trollsy weird kind of deck. Until then, good luck and have fun. Yeah.